Yeah. It's on now. It just, mm -hmm. it just came on. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. So praise God. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Psalms 100. All these psalms are good. Amen. So that's, uh, that's, that's our text right there. Thank you, Lord. Believers should rejoice and be glad and give thanks daily. Believers should be the happiest, most joyful people on earth. Why? Because we know the truth. Yes. We know the truth. People out there in the world, just because you have finances, just because you have things, you might be happy for a season. But that's not your happiness. You're still not going to be totally, totally happy. When you have God, you that that's that's it. You've got it, Amen. Thank you, Lord, and we'll get more truth in us so that we can really be super happy about this thing because because we know the truth, and and we're going to be the happiest people on earth, and and people are going to be jealous at you and come at you and say, why are you always laughing? Why are you always smiling? Why are you, you always doing this good? Why why is it good things always following you? Why are you always being blessed? Wouldn't they? They open the door for you to say, because of Jesus Christ, He's my yes. Lord and Savior, yes. and He blesses me, and yes. I'm His child, and He takes care. Of, he's my Heavenly Father, and He takes care of me, and He blesses me. And you know what happens when you give? Since things are always happening to you, people are always giving to you. Why? Because you are giving of yourself. Yes. And that's what the Word of God says: Giving is shall be given unto you, and you cannot give God. Amen. Let's know this. Woo, hallelujah. Believers were too blessed to be stressed and to be ungrateful. When you know the truth, <laughs> you ain't got no right to be ungrateful. You ain't got no right to be sad. Hey Amen. You know what? You look in the mirror and you got to straighten out this person you're looking at. Because you have no reason to be sad. Yeah, come on, Amen. Man. Unless you're doing the wrong thing. Mm. But you should be happy. The happiest people in the world. You need to write that down. Yeah. Amen. You need to write that down. So give some reasons because uh, to be thankful or give thanks. One of them is he forgives, he heals, he redeems, he gives us loving kindness and mercy. He gives us plenty of things. Amen. So that's some things right there to be very thankful for. He forgives us, he heals us. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he Jehovah Jireh. He provides for us. Amen. He's Jehovah Rapha. Mm -hmm. The God that heals. Amen. So he's, he's not putting sickness on you. He wants to take it. He's already put it on his son. So why would he put it on you if he put it on the son? So it's not about God. It's about the enemy. Amen. Going around with this. And you need to confess your healing. And speak the word. And speak to your body. You know. And say body line up with the word of God. And be healed. According to the word of God, I command everything to function normal in Jesus' name. Because that's what he wants, that's what he wants for you to be healed so you can fulfill the mission he put you on. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Other reasons to be thankful for. We give thanks for his for the Lord's presence in our lives. People desert us. <laughs> People say, yeah, I'm with you, you know. But guess what? Pretty soon they're gone. They're not around anymore. But God never does that. Jesus is always with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. In Hebrews, he talks about not leaving us and not forsaking us. He says, for he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Amen. He's always with me. So don't try to hide him. <laughs> don't try to hide amongst the crowd. Don't try to hide in the, in the world, you know, and say, well, mm -hmm. I'm hiding from Jesus. <laughs> he sees you wherever. He goes with you, and you can't hide from him. <laughs> <laughs> Lord is with us at all times and in all situations. The Lord has never left us or forsook us. Amen. Right. You ask uh, Noah. He was there. Moses, Abraham, Gideon, Jonah, <laughs> Job, David. 
Joseph, and of course Jesus. There's just a few. Yeah. And you know we talk about these Bible heroes. Well, you know what? All these Bible heroes weren't perfect. They sinned also, but Jesus used them. You know, Peter, for example, Peter denied him three times. And you know, the world would have said, "Hey, just give him up." You know, he like he he lied about you. He said he didn't know you, and he's one of your disciples. But Jesus was not finished with him. Yeah. He used him when it was time to go preach. Mm -hmm. He preached and thousands came. Thousands of souls came into the kingdom of God because of him using Peter. Amen. He, got, he don't give up on you. You that are watching, you that are listening, God isn't giving up on you. Yeah. Amen. He's got you. Amen. He wants you. You know, I spent a lot of time in the military. And by the way, uh, happy Veterans Day. Just, that was awesome. Yeah, in the military, they showed us how to do an about face. And about face is where you just walk in one direction and you're doing about face and you're going the other direction. And that's what we got to do in life. When we accept Jesus, we're doing about face. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're doing about face and turn, he's right there to embrace us yeah. just like the prodigal son. Yeah. And receive us back in, into his arms, into his, his kingdom. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Some of you watching, some of you listening, that's what you need to do. You need to turn around and give it all back. Amen. And come home. <laughs> come home. Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. That's it. Let me see what, what else you got coming. Keep going. Oh, Psalms 23. <laughs> all these are great. Everybody knows Psalms 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. Now, yes. Let me get there real quick. That's where I'm at right now. Psalms 23 and 1 says, What? The Lord is my shepherd. My shepherd. I see what I learned. We're his sheep. <laughs> That's my last name. Lamb. Cordero. <laughs> so my name's in the Bible. <laughs> 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 but he is our shepherd. Amen. And so the shepherd takes care of his flock. Takes care of his sheep. Amen. I shall not want. Because he's there for me. His presence is always with us. He is our shepherd. And you know what? Well, you don't have to, but I'll do it. I go because I have King James and the Amplified. But let's go to Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Let's read Psalm 23. You know, sometimes you say, man, it's just basic stuff. Well, you know what the Bible is? The Bible is basic instruction before it even there. Sometimes... When you start going up the ladder, you climb, you start at the low level, the low first step. And you climb and you grow, and that's what we do with the Word of God. We start at the bottom and we grow, and we grow daily. Amen? So, let's remember that. <clears throat> it says the shepherd's psalm, Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, the and Lord is capitalized. And shepherd, in the King James, is not capitalized, but in the in the Amplified, shepherd is capitalized. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. The Lord is my shepherd to feed, guide, and shield me. I shall not lack. He makes me lie down in fresh, tender, green pastures. Mm -hmm. He leadeth me besides the still and re re restful waters. He, re he refreshes and restores my life, myself. He leads me in the path of righteousness uprightness yes. and right standing with him not for my earning it but for his name's sake mm -hmm. yea Lord walk through uh, deep sunless valleys of the shadow of death I will fear no or dread no evil for you are with me yes. your rod to protect and your staff to guide they comfort me yes. you prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies you anointed my head with oil. My brimming cup runneth over. Amen. Surely or only goodness, mercy, and unfaithful, unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will, uh, and through the length of my days, the house of the Lord and his presence shall be my dwelling place. Amen. Man, you ain't never read it from the Amplified. It gives you a lot of explanations. It gives you a little more there. It's a little deeper. Amen? 
So if you don't have an amplifier once in a while, go check a different translation. It'll really open it up for you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. You know, I bet you know some of you know it really from, from the amplifier. <laughs> but it sounds so good. Amen. Also, Psalms uh, 91 says, in Psalms 91, uh, safely of abiding in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, mine says this, Psalms 91 is security of the godly. God is watching over you. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got you. He's protecting you. It's just like a mother hen crowding their little baby ones under her wings, you know. It's just like an umbrella of protection. And he's go out watching us. He's guarding us, amen. Yes. And he's taking care of us, you know. So you don't want to leave that protection. Well, you want to stay under that protection. And Psalms 91 says this. Mm. It says, well, let me read it to you from the, uh, again, from the Amplified. Psalms 91. We're in Psalms all <laughs> quite a bit, huh? Yep. The Amplified says, He who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, Amen. whose power no foe can stand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Most is capitalized, high is capitalized. Mm -hmm. Shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Almighty is capitalized. Mm -hmm. Whose power, whose is capitalized whose yeah. whose power no foe says no foe no enemy no enemy can withstand so whatever is coming against you mm -hmm. has no power unless you give it to them mm -hmm. unless you give it or surrender it to them Ooh, man that's a blessing right there thank you lord <laughs> giving thanks for his presence in your life well, <clears throat> I don't feel his presence. He never talks to me. Do you ever spend time with him? Do you ever open the word right. and spend time with him? We need to do this. When you feel, when you have a relationship with him, you can feel his presence. Mm -hmm. He will be with you. He is with you all the time. Yes. Uh, Exodus 33 and 14 says this. The Lord, the Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Yeah. His presence is always with you. Yeah. You can ignore him if you want to. Uh, but if you have confessed him as Lord and Savior, his presence is going to be with you all the time. So it's time that you listen. It's time that you pay attention. Mm -hmm. He's always talking. But you're not listening. Mm -hmm. Amen. We don't walk away from him. He's still with you. And so we think that we can hide and go yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, away from it. But it says, my presence will go with you. Yes. And I will give you rest. Amen. When you spend time with him and you know he's with you, you will have peace. And you will have uh, a joy. Mm -hmm. And the joy of the Lord is yeah. your strength. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Man, I'm preaching better than you ain't mad at me now. Right. <laughs> Number two says, give thanks for his protection. Yeah. He's there to protect you. Amen. There are many dangers in this world. God will protect us. Yes. God is God on the mountain. We sing this one too. God is He's God on the mountain and He's God in the valley. Mm -hmm. He's God when things are going good and He's God when things are going not so good. Mm. But He's still God. Yes. Amen. He doesn't lose His power. That's it. We limit Him. Mm. And we need to stop doing that. Yeah. We don't have to limit Him. He is powerful. He's almighty. Amen. <laughs> but he's there and he's God on the mountain. Or when you're on the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. He says, whether you're walking through the valley of shadow of death or not, he says, he's with you. Mm -hmm. Whether you feel him or not, when you feel his presence, hopefully you feel his presence. Mm -hmm. God is with you. Yes. yes. If you're a child of God, he's with you. What you need to do is get in the word more. Have yes. more relationship. Yes. more intimacy with him so that you can know so that you can sense that God is there for you mm -hmm. God's protection has kept us alive he's the reason we got this far <laughs> hallelujah thank yes. you Lord I'm telling you there's several times I could have been dead but he wasn't finished with me mm -hmm. 
and several times uh, I've been gone, and some of you probably been there. But I've got a testimony. I've got a great testimony, and some of you too. And you know what? When he tells you to share your testimony, share it. There's a reason why. Amen. See, it's going to bless somebody. And it's going to, it's going to set somebody free. Yeah. Because God saw you through. Yes, he and he's going to see this person through as well. Yes. Amen. Yes. So the, to, just don't keep it in you and say, well, I'm ashamed, you know. Mm -mm. But it's okay. You know, your past is gone. <laughs> yeah. It's gone. Let it go. But if God says, use your testimony and share your testimony, share it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because it's going to set somebody free. Hallelujah. Yeah. Set me free. <laughs> the Lord watches over us to protect us. You know, we just read Psalms 23 and Psalms 91. Keep going. I got some, some good ones for you. Here we go. Listen. Today. This is the day the Lord has made. Today will never come again. Be a blessing. Be a friend. Encourage someone. Take time to care. Let your words heal and not wound. Amen. Amen. Lord. I mean, you need to write this down, take a picture of it or whatever, but mm -hmm. we need to practice this on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Man, this is this is this is this is good. Today we'll never see it again. We'll never come again. So be a blessing, be a friend, encourage someone. Take the time to care and let your words heal and not wound. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Keep going. Listen. I battle with this right here. Amen. And I'm sure that you battle with this too. But listen, David had seven brothers. He was, he was number eight. But they only saw him, you know, when they asked God, do you have uh, another brother? Oh, yeah, he said, well, and they asked Jesse, the father. Yeah. He said, do you have another son? Because he was supposed to be, the man of God is there to bless him, you know, being the, to be king of Israel. And Jesse brought his strong and mighty sons, you know, and walked <laughs> right in front of the man of God. And they all walked through there, you know, and they looked nice, muscular, and they're all kind of whatever the world says they're good for. <laughs> and Jesse thought, well, these guys will do it. You know, hey, they in the army, and they were well fit and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the, God says, told the man of God, nope, 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 said <laughs> seven times. So the man of God finally asked uh, Jesse, the father, do you have another son? Mm -hmm. He says, oh yeah, I do. <laughs> but he's a shepherd. Mm -hmm. He's a nobody. Mm -hmm. These guys, man, they're muscular. Mm -hmm. These guys are fit. These guys yeah. got everything you want to be king. Mm -hmm. And God says, yeah. not them. We said, well, go get him. <laughs> go get the little shepherd boy. Bring him over here. And the little shepherd boy passed by. He says, that's the one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's <the> <clears throat> You've been putting yourself down. Yeah. But you got to remember, God says, I've called you. Yes. So why are you letting people and the world and the other things put you down? That's it. He chose you. Says, you're not good enough for the world. But God says, you're good enough for me. Because I called you, I anointed you, and I've given you everything that you need yes. to do what I want you to do. Yeah. So it's time that you start seeing yourself the way God sees you, not the yeah. way the world sees you. I may not be the most handsomest guy, I may not be the most fittest guy, and I may never please the world. But I'm a God pleaser. And God is pleased yeah. with me. God is pleased with you. That's the way you need to see yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's time you walk out from this bondage, from this limit mm -hmm. limit life, you know, that yeah. people try to put you in. And quality, you're not qualified for anything they want you to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's out there. He's a little shepherd boy. Let's read, read, read what it says. David's brothers and father mm -hmm. saw a shepherd. God saw a king. Yeah. See, the, the world sees you as nothing. But God says, you're my king. Mm -hmm. You're my favorite one. You're the only one who can do this, what I called you to do. Yeah. And you, you got to see that. You got to receive that in yourself. You know, and say, thank you, Lord. 
for this calling you've given me. Amen. Help me to fulfill what you want me to do mm -hmm. on a daily basis and give thanks because yes. he's called you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So let God define you and not others <laughs> because you'll never be good enough for That's anybody it. else. That's it. Amen. Mm. So let's remember this. We keep ourselves in a little box, you know, because that's where they want to keep you. They want they want to keep you down. Yes. Amen. They want to keep you down all the time. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not going to do that no more. I'm stepping out, and I'm going to be what God called me to be. Yes. You know, you can only be yourself. Yeah. yeah. Be the original God made you to be. That's you can't. You don't be a copy of somebody else. That's it. Just be what God called you to be. If He's happy, you be happy. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Forget about what the world says. <laughs> Remember the dangerous situations we faced in the past and how God protected us. Be careful and give thanks to Him on a daily basis. Thank you, Lord. Each and every day. Thank you, Lord. This is the day you have given me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Proverbs 3 and 26 says, You can trust the Lord to protect you. He will not let you fall into harm. He's watching you. He's mm -hmm. caring for you. He's got his eye on you. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's not going to let you go. He's not going to let you harm come on you. Mm -hmm. Psalm 91 and 3 and 4 says, this is the easy to read version. God will save you from hidden dangers mm -hmm. and from deadly disease. Yeah. You know, you might be heading some way and God will say, man, something is telling me not to go that way. Mm -hmm. Well, the Holy Spirit, that something is the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. God is telling you, Go this way. Don't go that way. I always go this way. And the crowd always goes this way. But God is saying, go this way. Amen. Go the other way. He says, God will save you from hidden dangers and deadly diseases. Yes. You can go to him for protection. He will cover you like a bird spreading his wings over its babies. You can trust him to surround and protect you like a shield. Amen. Ooh, man, this is this is a blessing. <laughs> Psalms 121, 3 through uh, uh, 8. Again, easy to read version. He will not let you fall. Mm -hmm. Your protector will not fall asleep. Mm -hmm. He's watching you all the time. Mm -hmm. He's got his protection over you all the time. Israel protector does not get tired and he never sleeps. Mm -hmm. The Lord is your, your protector. Mm -hmm. The Lord stands by your side and protects you. The sun cannot harm you during the day, Amen. and the moon cannot harm you Amen. at night. Amen. The, world, the Lord will protect you from every danger. Yes, he, will. he will protect you and your soul. He says, protect your soul. The Lord will protect you as you come and go, both now and forever. Amen. Man, this is, this is, I'm, I'm telling you, the truth is going to set you free. The word yes. of God is the truth. And it's going to set you free from all the negative thinkings. Yeah. From all the negative that the world brings, you know, that you've heard. Praise God. Number three says, give thanks for his uh, providing for our lives. Again, I said, Jehovah Jireh. God will provide. Yeah. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah. Mm -hmm. He is Jehovah Rapha. Mm -hmm. Our healed. God that heals. Amen. And he's Jehovah Nissi. Yes. The Lord is my banner. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Hallelujah. The Lord is faithful to meet our needs. He is faithful. And we need to be as faithful as we can. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ. All things. So let's be faithful. The Lord is faithful to meet all my needs. He provides our food, our clothing, our shelter. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he provides all our needs. He provides us with so many blessings. Trust in the Lord and fear not, for the Lord will supply every need, even in difficult times. Amen. Mm -hmm. They said this is going to happen or that's going to happen. We're not going to do this anymore. I'm trusting God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Store up on this and store up on that, you know, because of famine. Still, we're trusting God. Mm -hmm. God first. Amen. So uh, Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek you first. His kingdom, His God, and His righteousness, so all these things shall be added unto you. Let me read to you from, uh, uh, you can open it to Philippians 4.19. And we read it all the time from King James. <clears throat> it says, My God says, shall supply all your needs according to 
His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Catch a healing. Yeah. Ephesians? Oops, excuse me. You said Philippians. No, Philippians, I'm sorry. Philippians. You're right. I was just testing you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. He's hiding himself. <coughs> Oh, 413, yeah. Did you say 13 or did you say 19? No, four, uh, 13. Philippians, uh, no, 4, 419, I'm sorry. 419. It says, but my God shall supply all your needs oh. according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Now the Amplified says this, and my God will liberally supply, fill, fill to the full your every need according to his riches in glory mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. My God will liberally supply, fill to the full your every need according to His riches yes. in glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. He's uh, He said, "Need not all your wants." Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we always go to God and we tell Him all the things we want. Mm -hmm. But He says, "When you say you supplied all my wants," they say, "No." He says, "Supply us all your all needs." needs. <laughs> There's a difference there. Yes. <laughs> you need food, you need water. <laughs> but you don't need a big uh, Cadillac out there, you know. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> Psalms 34, 8 through 10 says this. Taste and see that the Lord is what? Good. Good. Blessing mm -hmm. is the one. Uh, who takes refuge in him. Bless the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his people, his holy people, for those who fear him like nothing. Yes. This lion may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. You seek the Lord, you hunger for him, more of him, more of him mm -hmm. on a daily basis. You know, not once in a while. That's relationship. Mm -hmm. We have relationships with him, you know. Amen. It means we seek him daily. We hunger for more of him daily. Not just once in a while. When things are good, you know, say so we just take a break and let it go, you know. Yeah. We're just like a, a little balloon, you will deflate, you know. And you just go down. And a rock can have you. The enemy can have you. Yeah. Because when you go down and you're not confessing the word of God, you're going to confess negative things. Yeah. And when you confess negative things, you're opening the door for the enemy to come. Yes, and he's going to come in. You open the door, and he's going to invite himself in. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. Amen. So we don't want to do that. Keep going, man. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <clears throat> we need to take a picture of this and, 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 and write this down. It says, the devil doesn't care if you go to church or read your Bible as long as you don't apply it to your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I went to church. What does that mean? Mm. We are the church. Mm -hmm. We're the body of Christ. It's just not to forsake yourself, assembling yourselves together. Mm -hmm. We're assembling ourselves together yeah. today and every Sunday or every time we have church or service. Yeah. Amen. But he don't care if you come. <laughs> what did you get from it? Yeah. What, did, what, what was the message... God gave uh -huh. a, a pastor to speak. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It was good. <laughs> but we need to apply it to our lives. We need to receive yes. it and yes. grow from it and apply it. Amen. Yeah. Enemy don't care if you come and sit and do nothing. We just come and meet a quarter so we can tell people mm -hmm. that I went to church. Yeah. I went and sat in church. <laughs> <coughs> enemy, enemy knows this. Enemy knows the word too. Yeah. So you gotta be careful. You know, part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pretend all you want to, mm -hmm. but he's not pretending. That, that's it. Remember, he comes to steal, yeah, kill, yeah, and destroy. That's it. You need to have the word to come against that. He's a defeated foe, mm -hmm. and he still wants to steal, kill, and destroy you. Yeah. If you let him. Right. But we're not going to let him. Amen. Because we're going to 
not only assemble ourselves together, but we're going to take the word and grow from it. Amen. And mature in, in it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give thanks for the people he's put in our lives. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talked a little bit about this, but some people are placed in your life for a season. Mm -hmm. Some for a short season, some for a mid-season, yeah. and some for a long time, mm -hmm. you know, long season. But that's okay. And if he takes somebody from you, <laughs> let it go. Let it go. I got a funny here for you. Keep going, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Well, that uh, uh, we just read that one. But he says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Keep going. I tell you when to stop. Keep going. Keep, just keep going. 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 There we go. <laughs> yeah, yes, I had a funny for you. What's it say? I'm currently making some changes in my life. If you don't hear from me, you're, you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Because you know, when you confess him as your Lord and Savior, he's going to change people all around you. I told you when I was maturing and growing in, in, in the Lord. I told him to, you know, help me remove these enemies, mm -hmm. you know, and I started losing friends. Yeah. <laughs> He's, I was making a change. I was making a change. Now I'm working. Now I'm serving God. Mm -hmm. And he's giving me new people. He's bringing new people in my life. And the old people are going out. Yes. So I'm making a change. <laughs> and if you don't hear from me, <laughs> you may be one of them. Not you guys. <laughs> so, Amen. anyway, that was meant in a good way. <laughs> so give thanks to him for the time he's given us and allowed us to live in this time. Mm -hmm. We're so quick to complain about things. we got to be careful that we not get involved in just complaining at all times. Amen? Like I said, he plants you here, so bloom where he plants you. Yes. Amen. And no complaining. Just say, Lord, wherever you plant me is yeah. where I want to grow for you. And it's where I want to serve you. Yeah. And do for you. Just remember those those things, you know, because you, if they don't have what you're looking for, mm -hmm. they don't have the the sporting shops, they don't have the shopping that you do or whatever, doctors or whatever. Mm -hmm. I say, Well, I'm not happy here, I need to go somewhere else. Just be happy where God plants you. You plant me here for a reason, Lord. Show me, and I want to do all that I can for you. Amen. Amen. Let's remember that. No complaining. <laughs> Give thanks for Him for the promises of everlasting life. He's given us everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Receive Him as your Lord and Savior, and you have everlasting life. Amen. This is not your home. Heaven is my home. Give thanks for the mission He's given us. Whatever he's called you to do. Remember, we're the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And this is our physical body. Every part is that important. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We don't degrade any part of it. Yes. The feet, the hands, the arms, the head, the body, or uh, internal parts. Yes. They're all good because God placed them there. And they're all working together in unity. And that's what the body of Christ needs to do. Mm -hmm. Come together, receive one another, work together, and work in unity. Yeah. So regardless, you know, I could be walking on my feet, but you know, hey, they the best things for me to stand up and balance myself. And thank God for my hands. I can reach out and grab. Yeah. And I need every part of it. Yeah. You are a part of the body of Christ. Yeah. And whatever he's called you to be, mm -hmm. be thankful for whatever part of the body you are. Mm -hmm. And do unto him, Lord, I want to do my best for you. I want to be the best hands. Yes. There is. I want to be the best feet, best legs, whatever that can be. But we work together. Amen? Yeah. And you're special. Yes. You see yourself. So in closing, everybody yeah. say amen. 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 Remember, giving thanks is this. Jesus. I know they use the word uh, uh, Jesus as the reason for the season in Christmas time. 
but Jesus is the reason for each and every day. Amen. Amen. And be thankful for each and every day. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is a reason to be thankful. Amen. Giving thanks daily, not Amen. monthly, not yearly, but or whenever, you know, when things are going good. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And when things are not going so good, yeah. we forget about it. We just say bye, you know, hey, I'm doing better. I don't need you now. I'll see you later. Remember, it's kind of like the the spare tire. Uh -huh. Then we got it there. But if we never have a flat, so yeah. it's just there. And, you know, <laughs> when I need you, I'll call on you. And that's what, the way some of us treat God, you know. See, it's, everything's going fine now. If I need you, I'll call you. I'll use you. Let's not be that way. That's it. Amen. Be thankful with a grateful heart. Be thankful with an attitude of gratitude Amen. on a daily basis. Amen. So praise God that you learned something. Yes. <laughs> praise yeah. God, me too. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. And we are so thankful, Lord, for Amen. bringing us together and thankful for bringing us Jesus, Lord, and giving us Jesus, Lord. Thank you for your calling in our life, Father. We want to be the best that you call us to be, Father. And we want to do it under you, Father, without complaining. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you've never accepted him, now's the time. You know, we don't want to close. Just give you the opportunity. Yeah. Hey, this is not by accident. You're, you, you, you're watching. You're listening. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he won't turn you down. <clears throat> Amen. But you start living for him. You start uh, put yourself in a church where they teach the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And start growing for him. And start doing for him. And start serving him. And being thankful. Praise God. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, I'm just going to say that by Jesus Christ you heal. Amen. Whatever part of your body, Father, I just thank you that by Jesus Christ you're healed. So whatever malfunctions are happening, mm -hmm. we call you straight. And we speak to our bodies to receive that healing right now in Jesus' name. From the crown of our head to our soles of our feet. And we call these bodies well and we call these bodies healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And it's time to give. <laughs> Those that are watching and listening, just go to our website, NBCBigBen.com. Uh, Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marco, Texas, 79843. And now, Cash App, just go to uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. So I want to let you know God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord.